So failure is a topic that came up a lot at Google. And even at my new company, Humu, we talk about it a lot. Uh, at Google, one of the big lessons that shaped Google from the early days was looking at other technology companies who had started, grown really big, and either failed or gotten big, and then found they stopped innovating, they stopped creating, they just kind of, they stayed profitable, they stayed great companies, but they weren't changing the world in the way that Larry and Sergey aspired to. And so failure was something that came up all the time, and there's probably 20 or 30 different things we did. Uh, one thing was, for example, one of our executives, a guy named Jeff Huber, uh, who's now at a company that's working to fight cancer called Grail. Jeff would deliberately spend half of his staff meetings every week on where did we fail, what did we learn. Another guy, Astro Teller, who leads Google X, this kind of skunkworks operation, they actually have an award every three months for the team with the biggest failure. In my own teams, and this is something that we do at Humu, in my own teams, we would talk about failure and that any failure, as long as you learn from it, is recoverable. As long as the learning is there, as long as you as an individual are putting yourself into it, figuring out what did I do wrong, and reporting and sharing that lesson, anything except, I should say, an integrity issue. Integrity, it's hard to teach. Uh, but any business failure um, is forgivable as long as you're learning from it. So those are ways we tried to make sure both at Google and now that failure is okay, that it's encouraged, and that it's a learning opportunity. And the reason that's so important is because if you tell people that when you fail, you're done, it's a horrible negative thing. They won't tell you when they fail and they won't learn from it when they fail. And the way to unlock learning and growth is to make it okay to fail once in a while.